which is always nice. It's all, I always try to do a test playthrough of a game before I actually do stream it. And so I can be fully, uh, uh, fully, you know, like, able to have a smooth run as a result. Let's save here. Yep, there we go. Replenish. And let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can't get over there. Nope. I need to scan you. Oh, I have. Okay. Did I? Have I scanned you? See, I kind of get forget myself. If I have scanned anything. I get so pretentious. <laughs> There's a new creature there. Get rid of you. I'll just walk into toadstools and everything. Okay, I already got those guys. Nice. Those those things actually just suicide themselves. Oh, this is obvious. Missile expansion. Do do do. Got more expansions, more stuff, more fun. Like um, you weren't you weren't here yet, Morgan, but uh. Uh, when I started, when I first, when I started the stream, I said I've got to uh, about I got to basically 83% uh, clear rate when I first uh, beat the game of Metroid Prime. So I am again pretty familiar with myself. I keep repeating myself a lot. <laughs> um, that's my that's like my little quirk with me, folks. Is that I constantly uh, oh I thought I got rid of you. Yeah, here I want my five missiles. Expansion here. Get rid of these little mushrooms here. What we have to do here in order to move on is to get um, a scan of these runic uh, panels on the ground. There's four of them in total, and after we've got all four, we can progress through this room. Because in order to actually continue, we do need to get morph ball bombs, but we also need to get a way to get around certain problems. I'm trying to find out where the other... There's some vines. Water once flowed here. Oh, where is that last rune? It's always the... It's always one rune I kind of forget is anywhere. No! Okay, where is this last... Oh, it's right here. There's the last rune. Booyah! I'm gonna grab that energy. Energy's always nice. Small energies. Uh, energies come in different variety of flavors. There's a small, medium, and large, which you all have to scan to. They're all separate research scans. As well as the missiles, is there are three, five, and I think seven? I think it's seven. Seven or ten. As I, I think I said that earlier. And I'm always gonna prove myself wrong. Let's open that up. Gay okay, has been unlocked. There's some lore over there as well. Shows a lore. Disaster struck suddenly. We got a vague, dark, forbidding thing about and it became true. A meteor appeared from nowhere and crash land on it. Crash land on it. Um, any also of any power ups you may pick up, such as any beam upgrades and whatnot. If you pick them up, they automatically become part of your logbook, so you don't have to scan them. Which is good. Oh yeah, there's guys now becoming a problematic. Oh yeah, there's right there. Come back for that for later. But we have to charge beam now. At long last. We can now finally... Uh, have a more powerful blast so we can actually take out these laser guys. These eyeballs with lasers. But we're gonna have to come back here for later though. Cause we're gonna need morph ball bombs as well as another power up, the spider ball, which is in this game. But we're not getting the spider ball for a good long while. Cause after we, I think after we get the spider ball, I think everything almost o opens up to you. In terms of everything you can explore in an area. Because I think the last major upgrade we get is, uh... 
is the grapple beam, I believe, and uh, it's probably the least uh, useful of the bunch. So now we got the charge beam. We can now. We can't scale this yet. Uh, let's see, where am I going next? Can't go anywhere that way. We need to go up, I believe, because I think right here is where we're going next. I think that is the uh, bomb room. So... We need the jump suit, don't we? We need the... I always get lost wherever I'm going around like this, because I don't... We're not getting the jump... We're not getting the... Like, the space jump until after we go into more, uh, the caverns, I think. So, we need to go... I need to go back to that room I just left. Because we need more ball bombs in order to actually scale this plant. This tree. Best to revisit that room with the gravity suit. Yeah, with gravity suit. Yeah. I just did a. I get lost. I'm getting lost in a in a in a hallway. How sad of me. <laughs> yeah, we have to do this climb. Yeah. When you get the space jump, this room becomes trivial. <laughs> Not today, bats! With the charge beam, we can now actually draw in power-ups and collectibles. Or any type of drop, that the, anything drops that come from enemies, as well as any crates. We can now uh, get them from afar. Which is very nice. Oop! A bear curse you, bats! No! Darn it! I just messed up the jump. Yeah, first, uh, first person platforming is not the, my strongest suit, folks. Well, it's not, it, it's become, it's gonna become like a hindrance in some fashion. Until we get to, until we get the, uh, the jump, the double jump, like the space jump anyway. Uh, <laughs> transver, transversing, uh, against, uh, on the platforms are gonna be just, gonna be easy. So we go right here. I don't care if we're getting hurt. Oh yeah, this room. Alright. Let's go this way. We still have to worry about the water. Because uh, we can't do anything. Is that the room where we need to go? Yes, it is. Alright. Let me sink myself up here. Through this hallway. I'm, we must go off off in different directions. All right, here we go. Next boss, we've got a flamethrower sentry. And for some reason, it don't. It's I don't know what the reason for this flamethrower is, other than to only just you know annoy bees. But we have to uh, go into a morph ball or jump. And hit this weak point of theirs where it actually burns the bees. The beehive. But the bees think that we are the ones that caused the the flamethrower to hit them. Oh. See, after hitting it first, uh, the flamethrower will start uh, going in different directions in terms of its direction up and down. So you either have to go into morph ball form or just jump. go hit that again so we can burn that thing off like so kill the bees and somehow fire can blow me back I'm not sure how that works it's mythical fire that's what it is hit this here let's get these bees haven't got them yet it's a new creature Oof. Barbed wire, Bob War bees. I kind of almost forgot. That would have been that would have been a death to 100% right there if I had not scanned those. Because 
you become you become very oversensitized that you have to keep scanning stuff. Uh, I get so I get so privileged because like I'm not sure who am I supposed to scan. I just pull out the scan visor no matter what happens. But we've got enough health. We're okay for getting hit by the bees. There we go. Insider drone is defeated. It burns out the bees too and somehow explodes. Oh baby. Oop. That's something we want. Morph ball bombs. We can jump again in ball form. Morph ball acquired. Da 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 da. Ooh yeah. Let me draw all these power ups in. So now we got morph ball bombs. We can now explode stuff, and we can get also our jump balls back too. Are. We get some more missiles for our trouble. Anything to scan in this room? Nope. No, I think there are the boxes we have to scan. I think I don't think we've scanned those yet. This. Yep, because we get the jump ball in the GameCube version. You would have to you would have to do a ball jump, uh, uh, your morph ball bomb jump. Which is something you don't really... Oh! Which was a little weird onk wonky to get going off, but, uh... Yeah! Now we have these little stone creatures here. They like, they like, uh... Ball things, uh... Small things they can eat. Uh, let them eat you, and, uh... Yeah, you can blow them from the inside. A gruesome way to die, in my honest opinion. But, you know... We have a new research. We've seen this research before, where we need to activate uh, Morph Ball Bombs to get around here. There's one thing about the... I'm not sure if anyone can tell me about this, but... Is there a way to actually center the camera in, in Morph Ball? Because I feel like you get lost constantly for it. Oop, gotta go this... Wait, come on! Where am I going? I am lost in this room somehow. Hit this button here. And now we can uh, this platform. We can get these platforms to go. We need to jump in that hallway so that we can uh, continue through this room. Now I have my volume turned down on uh, on my TV so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't uh, echo on the mic too much. So I'm gonna maybe have a little bit hard time trying to hear when timer's about to run out or not, but. It's like, nope, as far as I've ever seen, neither G, neither GameCube or Wii. Yeah, because the GameCube was, GameCube had a little bit, had a stiffer contr uh, camera control. And with the Wii, you have to move the camera around normally just to get everything done with it. Open up this door. Yeah, we can't go anything here. We can't continue this very far, but we can go in here, though. Jump up here into this hallway. And I can roll around here into this room, and we can get ourselves an energy tank. Not bad at all. That's our third one we've gotten. Oop, camera. Oop, there we go. This way. So, don't forget that. <laughs> Health is always needed. So I think we're actually... I think we are good to actually go after the, uh... The area... The... The region boss, I think. So essentially, you could come back here, like, later. Do not do this, but... Why not? You're exploring everything. You're exploring everything for the first time. You're gonna explore until you can't go anymore. But uh, we can now go, I think we can go to the region boss now.
which uh, is Flagra. Which, uh. <laughs> oh, can I. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can get this now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can be a master at platforming. And my cam my Wiimote's going off the screen again. Let's see if I can do this here. I know you can get this. You can get this as early as the bomb jump. I know I've done this before. Ah. Oh well. We'll get that later. Like, we're coming... We're gonna be coming back to this room multiple times, so it's not, it's not gonna hurt if we don't get that. That's a missile expansion, and something we could have gotten earlier if, if I had... If I could do the space jump proper, or the bomb jump proper. Uh, in this room, we have to find, again, four, uh, different, uh, symbols that we need to find. So, I gotta scan around everywhere for it. Come on out. Eh. Do these same bees before? There's sandstone. Yeah, we already got these guys. Oh, that's something new. New research! They're giving off 100 energy now, which is nice. So these sandstone blocks, we can't blow them away with a supercharged charge shot. Only uh, bombs can do it. Okay. Oh, hold on, folks. One second. If I could just pause the game for a second here. Hmm. <sighs> Have to drink some water. <clears throat> there we go. All right, back. We got two symbols down. We need to find two more. Also, scan these right now. Cause these are poison variants of that uh, venom weed. I do believe that is an enemy you can. Uh, miss uh, a creature you can miss after this area is cleaned up. So be wary about that. <laughs> yeah, I have to keep the scan visor up at all times. You never know what you might find. I can just blow these out like this and rush across this place here. The venom weed will look, uh, make you lose health, unlike the normal variants, which are just that uh, just uh, slows you down. Alright, where is... There's, there's one there. Oh, the decorative gate is obstructing passage through the doorway. Did I miss one? I missed... Oh, I missed three. Wow. I'm horrible. <laughs> I missed the other two uh, scans. Can't believe this. Usually I'm not bad at missing this stuff on the first go. There's somewhere on the tree. I think it's on the tree. Ooh. Ow. I know I got this one. Or did I? No, I didn't. That's the one on the ground. There's two on the ground here. Okay, so where is the third one? It's on the... Tr I know it has to be on the tree. It has to be. Toxicity level is critical. We can't touch the water. We get hurt. So where is... Oh, it's right here. I am blind as a bat. <laughs> I hate that when it's like, it's the simplest puzzle you could ever muster, but you, uh... But you kind of forget it's there. And so you kind of get a DOOM moment when that happens. <laughs> Come on now. Eh. 
Get out of here. Take out the venom weed again as it keeps growing back. Up here, jump. Jump this, jump here, jump there. Now, let's see, let me scan this. Oh, that's something we do need to scan. That structural weakness of sandstone because sandstone is weak to electrical bombs like this. Now, uh, in the GameCube version, you could get the the space jump early if you glitched the game out, uh, which actually makes this boss for coming up to the region boss um, sort of a trivial, as um, the water is supposed to be acidic, and also it stops you from doing double jumps out of it or moving around through it easily. But um, how the game uh, trigger, how the game registers this is very weird. Uh, that as long as you activate and explode, activate the bomb on there in close range, uh, it counts as a hit. But in the Wii, in the trilogy version, I think they fixed this. But uh, yeah, this is Flagra, and uh, it's a plant, and it's a mutated plant. That oh boy, this is when Pokemon go wrong. We di this, remember, remember to tell the Pokemon company not to add phase onto the Pokemon series. Come on now, I gotta scan you first. This is Flagra. This mutant plant is the source of the toxic water in the ruins. Flagra's growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. The exposure has made Flagra quite their outer shell thick and durable, with its root system unprotected and vulnerable. However, exploit this flaw when possible. Concentrated weapon fire can daze it for a short period of time. As you can see, if an enemy grows yellow when you hit it, it's, you basically are hitting its armor, and you can, uh, uh, you know, phase it out. Where is the light that's coming here? We're gonna scan this. Mirror ray used to focus sunlight onto the creature. It looks like you can possibly be tilted to take it offline. I usually use missiles to actually. You can use like I think a few shots of the um, of your gun to do uh, to move it up tilter, or you can use a or you can use a missile to ultimately just shoot it up automatically by default. This boss has four hit points and four. Every time you do one of these explosions. Uh, it destroys that trail to go to it. In every cycle, the uh, the solar mirrors come down and focus on back on Flagra, and you have to take them both out in order to actually uh, to stun them again. But uh, Flagra isn't dumb. Um, if you if he no if it notices that one of its uh, solar rays is down. It will actively go out of your. It'll go out of its way to actually re-trigger it and basically knock it back down. And Flagger will drop randomly, so you gotta figure out. Oh, and also, will hit you if you try to go in there too early. Alright, Flagra is hit for the second time, and now he's going to activate three of the solar uh, veins. So we have to stun him so that he doesn't keep knocking these things down. There we go, take this one. Try to position yourself in a good way that you can actually get access to one of the tails or one of the treats back to the root system. Come on now. So you see, he just knocked that one down that I just took up. So we gotta stun him and hope for the best I can get to this one in time. And it takes this guy down, all the way down to the ground. There we go. Smooth as butter. And now we've taken him down for another round. So now he's down to his final hit. 
We have to take up all four of those down. Not too hard. As long as you keep stunning him, you should be fine. But just make sure you know exactly where you are on the battlefield so you know where, uh... So you're right on the position to actually go into that tunnel. Hey, you! Over here! Woo! -hoo. There we go, knock you down. This should do it. Nope, they want to go to ball form. And he's going down for the final time, baby. And done! Flag was defeated! Woo! And with its death, and with its death, a purification of the water is around us. So now we don't have to worry. Now we can actually jump in the water with no error, and no problem. Nice. And ooh, that looks fancy. What is that? The various suit. Yes. Woo. Very suit obtained. Do do do, yeah. She goes into a meditative state. As the suit, technically the suit never left her. It's just that I think the command to actually activate it when she got when she hit the wall, sort of like prevent her mental link to it or something because the suit isn't I would have to say the most mystery I would say about the lore of Metroid is how the suit actually functions because now Danish and Heat are now accessible we can now go to the Magmore Caverns the Magmore Caverns is now accessible to us which are which is our next destination over here I don't think we can go anywhere with the with the uh, various suit now in its in our, in our current state here in this region. We're gonna have to go to the Magmore Caverns and then hit our way to the opposite side of the world just so we can get more stuff. Uh, where is the turn? There's the turn right there. We have to come back through this way in order to actually get. Um, Oh, there's something new. New research. This is a uh, ultra energy. So we have a we have a normal soup, uh, super and ultra. Not bad at all. Hello. It's a new creature. We can't do anything about this creature, so we'll just move on forward. That's a creature that's solely electrical based, and we can't do anything about it. Bam. We want to scan these things here, though. We want to scan this thing. I want to scan this. This cordite wall hangs appears to be slightly cracked. Cordite wall can only be destroyed by a power up that we don't have yet, and that's the super missile. Oh, I should have gone back over and oh, darn it! <laughs> I need to go back up to the ruin, up to the Chozo ruins. There's that missile expansion I missed. You gonna have to head out, Morga? Thanks for being there, though. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good night, my friend. 